I was what you would call a cold Christian. <laughs> so like I prayed, but that's about it. So when I met my past significant other, I guess, <laughs> he got me in a church and so we went, but I never really felt like I was a part of the church. And then like, but like at home we were, I was manipulated and I was sexually assaulted. And then I was moved down here to Florida where I was abandoned by him. It was like you're dropped off there and you're just lost. Like this is a new state. This is a new place. And there's nothing homey about it. You just don't belong. And so what I did is I just started working hard and I got into college and I was doing like 17 hour days between the two, so I was always distracted, which was my plan. <laughs> because if I was distracted, I didn't have to deal with my reality. I wasn't ready to deal with it. And then as the college year came to an end, all my, prof my professional fears, my personal fears came to light. Like, my career was failing. I was alone. I felt it. And there were times where I would just get down on my knees it was almost daily and ask God to bring me home. And then a friend of mine said, why don't you try going back to church? And so I got in touch with my old church and they recommended CE. And from the moment I walked into um, Countryside High School, I was at home. <laughs> I was like, you guys aren't getting rid of me. Like I felt like I was where I was supposed to be. And I got to knowing people and Ashley Willoughby became one of my biggest supporters and my prayer partner. And then Jen and Brandon just inspired me to just let go and let go. Suddenly I was like, I want to be God's cheerleader. <laughs> like, I want to love Him and I want to depend on Him like the air I breathe. And it has been a full-time job trying to get back to where I was or just trying to heal from this, this past life I had. But the payoff is so much more than I could have ever imagined. You know, I started to see that I didn't need to go home. I needed a community. I needed a team. And most of all, I needed God. Everybody in our church, it's an absolute blessing to be amongst these people. I wouldn't give it up for anything. And I still have quite a ways to go as far as my healing goes. But one thing's for sure, my boat isn't driven by my weight.